Hello Pisces, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a pretty quick general reading for you, something that you don't expect, but it would benefit you to expect it. Okay, these will be general, again, so it's not going to be for every single Pisces, but if you'd like a personal reading, you can take a look at the description. Alrighty. more. What's going on for Pisces that they don't expect but their awareness of it will benefit them? What's going on for Pisces? Eight of Swords, okay. Alright, show me more. Some anxiety. We have Eight of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Okay, so there's some anxiety over some ending. Either this is you or this is someone in regards to you. Um, yeah, somebody's feeling like blocked off from someone or um, someone could be trying to push away emotions because they're dealing with some type of heartbreak. Um, there's some loss or some walking away. Either someone walked away and they're upset about having to walk away or somebody walked away from somebody else and they're upset that they walked away from them. Hopefully I'm making sense. Um, Nine of Swords though, it is bringing about a lot of reflection for whoever this is, whoever is upset about someone um, leaving them or needing to leave someone. It, there's a lot of realizations that happen after this. Okay, this is some type of karma that someone experienced, these two eights. But there's progression with it coming out with the Nine of Swords coming out here. It's like somebody is realizing a lot. Somebody um, is starting to go through spiritual awakening in separation. So you could have, um, even if you didn't physically separate from someone, you could have cut off some type of um, spiritual partner, divine counterpart. You could have stopped giving them the energy you were giving them or decided to turn towards yourself or something like that. Somebody's feeling abandoned and has like quite a bit of anxiety and is feeling kind of stuck or was and the what this is showing me is that there is eventually going to be some type of relief because this actually is a good thing because somebody is like having quite a bit of realizations. Nine of Swords is reflecting on the past journey that someone would just went through. Somebody's also reflecting on their time while they were healing from a heartbreak or a breakup or losing someone. Okay, show me more. Rising above it. Rising above some type of sadness, separation, heartbreak. Okay, so many more. Queen of Cups. Okay, so somebody's healing their divine feminine and their ability to give um, love to themselves, unconditional love, appreciation, and self care. Okay, so somebody's be becoming like a pro at. Um, I want to say a pro at like unconditional love or a pro at like appreciating oneself like somebody is okay this is a complete heart chakra um, cleansing awakening somebody was in a relationship with someone that really um, did a number on their heart chakra somebody in the past was dealing with overthinking But somebody has like flipped that around. Like if you look at like if you're looking at the tarot cards and like and like a progression story, this is the eight of swords, this is the nine of swords. Like looking at that difference, this is just one card away from each other. 
Like this is like despair with thoughts, like not being able to handle them, wanting to avoid them. This is rising above it and being able to be in control, but not in a, not in a controlling way. And I hope that makes sense to you. Being able to be in control of how you feel because you are taking how you feel into responsibility or you're, you're taking your environment into your own responsibility or something like that. I hope I'm making sense and I should be making sense to you if this is your reading. Um, somebody has clarity. Somebody in the end of this is feeling better. Feeling more love and appreciation for oneself. Somebody could have, it could have been hard to get yourself to walk away from someone. It could have taken a lot of time to walk away from someone, like it could have really um, been a process. Okay, show me more details please. Something about this, yeah, Book of the Devil, I was about to say, like, something about this past person that somebody was purging or walking away from, um, it really, like, affected how someone felt about themselves. It affected somebody's mood, of course, and, like, their, their energy, their vibration. Um, there's definitely something pretty toxic about this past partner. This is a karmic partner that this is talking about, that someone walked away from. We have two eights, and then we have the devil. It's definitely a karmic partner. Or you were meant to experience, like, quite a bit of karma with this person. Like, karmic partners are still soulmates. Like, there's still karma that's needing to be alleviated between the two of you. Or, they're, they're, like, I'm not saying there still is. I'm just saying, like, karmic partners are soulmates. The only thing that makes them karmic is that there's karma to be alleviated. It's still a soulmate. You're still meant to be a part of like that situation even if it's really difficult and you know sometimes it takes longer for people to separate from it but that's the lesson like that's the lesson that you came here to learn specifically in that situation with this karmic partner it could have been someone very manipulative someone really made someone think certain things about themselves that they didn't need to think Like, I'm feeling the energy like somebody, like, tore someone up, like, and it messed up somebody's mind space. Like, the way someone thought about themselves was completely messed up because this person imposing their opinions on this person. <laughs> I hope this is making sense. Like, somebody's, like, constantly telling someone that they're wrong or that they're this or that or whatever, and it really affected someone mentally and how they thought about themselves personally. But because they separate, because they're separating from this person or because they did separate from this person, they're having that mental clarity and that self-love. This is very clear. This could be anything. Like, even if this isn't a person, there's some situation that someone was putting themselves in or keeping themselves in that really messed with the daily thoughts that someone had specifically about themselves. So this could even be like a job or something. Like there's something toxic that someone was dealing with that someone's separating from and they're realizing how messed up their mindset was in the past because of how much they're healed now or because of how much they're going to be healed. Show me more please for Pisces. More details and messages for Pisces, please. Five of Cups, yeah, exactly. There was a lot of purging that was needed to walk away from this person. There was probably a lot of crying. Um, a lot of emotions involved. And, it, like, I'm feeling like a, there was a huge release of emotions. Like, someone could have had, like, someone could have let themselves purge for quite a bit. But someone didn't let, let it completely take them down. Like, even in this deck, like, this is kind of creepy. I'm just noticing this in this deck for the first time. But if you see, like, there's, like, a hand 
coming out of the water trying to pull her down, but she's not, she's standing. Hopefully it's focusing correctly. Um, yeah, purging, definitely. The purging is necessary. There could have been something about a full moon um, really pulling a lot out of someone. Uh, the full moon that we had yesterday could have made someone purge quite a bit. I've heard some um, like some notes on the full moon that it was about purging and like a lot about releasing too because it was really powerful. Okay, show me more. It was like a super moon, it was the flower moon. And if you think about it, it being the flower moon and talking about purging, it's the flower moon because April showers bring May flowers, right? So like the like the purging and the releasing of like the like from the rain brings flowers. Right? So it's it's kind of like a, almost a celebration of all the purging that someone's done. If it's indicating the flowers that are grown that are growing this month because of all the rain we just had, or should have had, um, then that's pretty um, cool for talking about purging. Okay, show me more. More details for Pisces, please. More details and messages for Pisces. The moon! Wow, we're talking about the moon and here's the moon. Yeah, there's a confirmation for that as well. There's, um, there's some type of peace. Okay, so what I'm getting from the moon is someone was also dealing with the anxiety of what's going to happen next. Like, this thing that seems out of my control is happening in my situation. Like, this person is leaving or I'm leaving this person or this situation is ending. And it's kind of like looking at your situation being like there's a little bit of anxiety about what's going to happen next with the moon coming out after the nine of swords this is showing you that someone is at peace with no not knowing exactly what's coming next because somebody is trusting that they will get the best somebody's finally seeing the like highlight or the positive po positive side to this ending when at first it probably seemed very very hard I love this moon in this deck. So this moon had quite a bit of benefit. Cute little raccoons in this one. There could be something about raccoons. I don't know. Um, there could have been some work that someone did on the full moon or with the moon in general as well. More details for Pisces. Oh, the lovers. Finding balance, but oh, like literally falling in love with yourself too. Like that's what I was feeling really with the Queen of Cups is like self-love, self-respect, unconditional love. Like, like just knowing how wonderful, how divine, how perfect, how amazing you are, how lovable you are. Like literally falling in love with yourself. Oh, and you know, in this lovers, it's like the beast is in it too. And it's kind of like somebody's appreciating even the parts of them that's the ego would consider bad or wrong. Like somebody's loving all aspects to themselves. Um, this is going to be manifesting in someone's reality, though. That's inevitable. If you're doing this for yourself, if you are putting yourself in this vibration of self-love, appreciation, understanding your worth, then that's what's going to manifest in your life. Also with this lover's card, it is telling me that you are destined to be with someone that loves every aspect of you as well. Dark or light. Because we're both. We're all. We're, we're, you, can't, you can't have one without the other. You can't deny your darker sides. It will only make them want to come out more. Like, there's something about accepting the shadow that happened here. Because there could have been something where somebody tried to throw your shadow at you constantly and like I'm not saying they were accurate with what they were saying but like 
This person could have really aggravated your shadow, could have really brought your shadow out. That could have been a big aspect of this past relationship is that it was making you aware of your shadow. And someone or something was trying to tell you, the ego could have even just just alone been trying to tell you, you are these negative aspects. And then, then you feel like, okay, now I have to do my best to not to hide these aspects and shove these aspects away because they're not light, they're dark, they're shadowy. But that's not, that's not the way that's not the way to go about things. The way to go about things is to accept it, understand it, understand why you may have these shadowy aspects, what makes you react or feel or act in a certain way, you know what I mean? Like really analyze, someone's really analyzing themselves. Someone could have been really going deep on their birth chart as well. Okay, I suggest you look at your Lilith sign. If you're resonating with this shadow work and in, in accepting your shadow, look at your Lilith sign because your Lilith sign is literally it's like the, it's the tortured feminine within you. It's what we're ashamed of. It's what we try to hide. So look at your Lilith sign. It can be really therapeutic. Black, it's called Black Moon Lilith. Not like the, the deity, but like your sign Lilith. You, everyone has a Lilith sign, a Black Moon Lilith sign. Okay. All right, so what should Pisces look forward to? What should Pisces be excited about? What's some, um, what's some news for Pisces that they can look forward to? What's a message for Pisces to look forward to or be excited about? one more time and then I'm going to rephrase the question. What should Pisces look forward to or be excited about? Eight of coins. There's a lot of work that's been going into this transformation is what I'm feeling with this. And in this eight of coins, it really is, um, it really is bringing attention to the amount of work that the Eight of Pentacles is really talking about. Like she, her foot is all friggin' cut up. Like she looks frustrated. I'm sorry that you can't, it's not focusing the way I want it to. But this is really showing like how much actual hard work is going into this Eight of Pentacles energy. So, like the amount of work you've done, expect high, high rewards. Okay, the karma that you just went through, it was it was work. Like it was literal work for your soul. It really was. Everything you are meant to have some type of release or relief or um reward for the hard work that you've done and it, with it being another number 8, it's like the karma that you've been through. It's like there's there's your next chapter there's relief. That's what I want to say. Like the hardships you just went through and purged and understood no matter how long ago they were, you are meant for a much more um, easy ride is how I want to say it because of the amount of like intense work that you've just done. That's how I want to say this. Is there any other ooh, final message for Pisces? I'll put that over in a second. Is there any other final message for Pisces? Get the magician. Okay, we have the knight of coins and we have the magician. Exactly. Be patient. Things are coming to you slowly but surely. Like, you have been very patient. You, there's a lot of patience that was needed for the rewards that are coming because you had to go through this whole eight of coins energy and it's taken a while, but the manifestations are coming. The magician's here. You can have anything you want. That's how I want to say it. You can have anything you want. Um, I haven't really been saying signs. We have Gemini, we have Sagittarius, we have Pisces, we have Capricorn. I think that's it. Um, and we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, feminine energy, but doesn't it's not necessarily um, doesn't necessarily have to mean that.
Somebody's going to be feeling really powerful. Really light, really um, appreciative and grateful for themselves and who they are. Somebody's really finding a whole new appreciation for, for them. Show me about this Knight of Coins and Magician. I'm sorry, I keep wanting to ask questions. <laughs> Show me about this Knight of Coins and Magician. Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is showing me that there's definitely extra um, reflection being done on what someone has gone through. There's something about needing to release the way things have gone in the past. It could be slowing down some type of manifestation. Uh, thinking of how things can go wrong um, or thinking of how things can get burnt down, like I'm noticing the house on fire in the back. I'm um, trying to think of all the ways things can go wrong because you're applying the way things have gone in the past on your current situation or new situation. Um, there's something about releasing the way things went in the past and to expect them to go better. Okay. Thank you so much, Pisces. I wish you the best of luck as you go through the situation. Um, lots and lots and lots and lots of love to you. Um... Yeah, I really wish you the best of the situation if it resonated with you. And if you need a personal reading, you can take a look at the description. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you again so much and lots and lots of love to you as always. Bye.